Mm-hmm. Oh, it's in the car. Okay. Mm-hmm. Something else. Start the video. There we go. I'm gonna drink my coffee while we wait. <laughs> I'm gonna take attendance. A Aaron. <laughs> Balake. Is Balake. Uh, it's, it's actually pronounced Aaron. Oh. <laughs> As a as a key and pill, it's a key and pill joke. I don't know if everybody knows about <laughs> you. Uh, what up? I'm looking at all y'all backgrounds, just trying to evaluate y'all lives and see what y'all are about. I'm in a whole separate room. I'm not even yeah. in my bedroom. <laughs> Is that wall that wallpaper saying some things? I don't show anything. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. You. Hey Julie. Hey. Might be one more person we can. I'm not trying to take up your whole day, you know. It's supposed to be about 40 minutes to one hour. I mean, the, the screenplay is seven pages. The final result is supposed to be four minutes. I, I hope I can make it four minutes. I'm sure I can. You can. I believe in you. Um, we Well, Juan is the only person we're waiting for. And Juan plays the man. So that's his introduction <laughs> right now, if he joins us later. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to be, like, before we read it, the breakdown is we're going to just introduce ourselves. We're going to read the script, then we're going to get into some minor details on, on uh, what's going to happen on set and everything, and take some questions later. But before we read the script, just want everybody to introduce themselves. Just give your name, your favorite color, and your role on this project. Yes, your favorite color. If you need that favorite color, it's like a social security number. We can just tap into that mind. But, uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't know how it's organized. Around like on the does everybody do you know Zoom organizes everybody's screen the same? No, I think it's random. So you just call. Uh, them. All right. So all right, I'm gonna just go with how it is on my screen and start with Kat. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm doing makeup for this film, and my favorite color right now because it changes all the time is black. Color. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Brianna. I'm Brianna. Um, I'm playing Charlie, and my favorite color is lavender. Lavender. Right. <laughs> and got Joe is next. Joe, we're going to need a favorite color in the role. <laughs> oh, sorry. My, I took my headphones off because they were doing something weird. I was getting, like, jumbled messages. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Yes. Sure. Uh, and I am the teleporter. All right. And Sandra? Uh, my name is Sandra, and I'm playing Savage. And my favorite color is baby pink. Baby. Right. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, me? <laughs> uh, my name is Yasmani, and I'm playing Officer A. And my favorite color is red. Red? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Julie? Hi, I'm Julie. I'm playing Officer B, and my favorite color is this green that I have painted as an accent wall. It's kind of like a forest green. It's very soothing. Forest green, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lavender. All right, I see what you're going on. Uh, Vaughn? Hi, um, my name is Vaughn, and my favorite color is, it's, well, black and probably blue. Black and blue are probably my favorites. Black and blue. Two of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the role you're playing? Sorry, I can barely hear you. What, what were you no, saying? The, uh, and the role you're playing on the project? Uh, wasn't it PA? Yes. Yeah, I, I thought you guys couldn't hear me? Oh, no, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. No. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Um, my favorite color is pink. I'm playing the woman, and I'm also the PA. Cool, 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 cool. Super PA. I think Juan might be trying to come in here. He's working it out. I wish you could communicate to him, Kat. Yeah. I'm trying to look at the reflection of his glasses. Yeah, it looks like he's on a different screen. <laughs> you might not even know his video's on. Uh, oh. it's excellent detective work, Nate. I know, this is like <laughs> zoom in, zoom in <laughs> reflection of his glasses to see what he was looking at at the time. Why Nate likes Batman so much. Get detective. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't wait till that movie come out, boy. Woo. Yes, thank you. It looks good, man. Excited. Yes. 
Can you hear us, Juan? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you now. Woo. All right. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome. Oh. Man. <laughs> Back. <laughs> and he's gone. We're just doing introductions, Juan. I'm here. All right, we're just we're doing just doing introductions. You're the last person. Like you just taking at the tail end. We just need your name, your favorite color, and the role you're playing. Okay, my name is Juan Caballero. Favorite color is let's see, black, red, and blue. I okay, can't. You're doing oh. some, okay, black. We are gonna go with black. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the role I'm playing is a uh, just as a well dressed man. Oh, you, okay, yeah. Well, my script it says the man, but you can put well dressed. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna change it to well dressed man now. Dog dressed man. Wasn't Mr. Devlin in the other my script? First, the first note I'm doing. Wasn't he Mr. Devlin in the other? Cups up. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. And uh, all right. Nate, one more time. It's Savaye, right? Savaye. Yes. Oh, Savaye. Savaye. Yeah, Savaye. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody, did everybody know that? I don't no. Know. People no. saying savage. I, I, I don't think know. so. Try to put it in a little the brackets. Oh, yeah. French. I didn't. Savoy, yes. Savoy. Everyone else is ready. Okay, everybody ready? Yeah. Here we go. Pat, take it away. Interior apartment two zero seven. Front door day. Knock on door. Interior apartment two zero seven. Hallway day. Charlie opens the door to some form of military ID being held in her face. Two armed officers stand behind it. Officer A keeps the ID up as he speaks. Morning. We are EVO officers. Officer B quickly scans Charlie's face with a handheld scan pad for any potential criminal history. Officer A now holds up a picture of a young woman. Have you seen this woman? She is a class five threat and has recently escaped the rehabilitation facility. Charlie barely looks at it. Uh, Officer B looks up from her handheld scan pad. Need we remind you that it is your civic duty to assist the EVO during any Code 12 investigations and failure to comply will result in unpleasant consequences to which you, I get it, my bad officers. I'm in the middle of a heavy flow week. I just ran out of pads and the bad sushi from last night is making us a diaper situation. Let me take another look at that. Charlie leans into the photo for deeper examination. To be honest, the guy in the place right above me has a woman, has women in and out of here all the time. And she kind of looks like one of the three he has up there with him right now. Officer A looks to Officer B, who is still reviewing her handheld scan pad. She's clean. Officer A looks back to Charlie. Thank you for your time. Your informa if your information leads to her capture, a reward will be. Charlie starts to close the door slowly, putting a smile behind noises of stomach pain. I really have to get back to the bathroom. I want to see other cat or diaper. No? Nope? Eh. All right. Take care and be safe out there. The door closes. The officers look at each other. Interior apartment 207, front door, day. Charlie watches the officers through the peephole, dropping the stomach pain charade. Come on, come on, fuck off. The officers walk off. Charlie rushes away. Interior apartment 207, bathroom, day. Charlie rushes to the bathroom. They're gone, but they'll be back any minute. Charlie yanks back the shower curtain. We have to get you out of here. The woman from the picture sits in the tub, her body vibrating as she struggles to subdue energy projecting from her hands and eyes. Her name is... Savaye. I know. Charlie sits on the edge of the tub and speaks calmly. You've got to bring it down. I'm trying to. Savaye centers her focus and calms her body. The energy from her hands and eyes diminish. Your fight or flight response is fierce, girl. It's terrifying is what it is. Charlie stands up. Savaye reaches out hand for an assist out of the tub. Charlie takes Savaye's hand. 
interior apartment 207, back room, day. Charlie places a wooden puzzle piece into Savaye's hand. Remember, you need to give this directly to my guy, Riley, so he knows I sent you. Look at you where you need to be. On one of the desks in what looks to be a strategy room, Charlie is packing a backpack with minor survival gear, flashlight, bandages, knife, money card, phone, etc. Charlie, you should really come with me. Get to your people. Contact me when you're safe. Charlie zips up the backpack and notices Savaye's look of concern for Charlie's safety. Hey. Charlie steps away from the table over to Sav Savaye, taking a comforting hold of her shoulders. You know I can handle myself. I made it this far in this fuck-ass town. You are what matters right now. I didn't ask for all of this. I know. Charlie hands Savaye the backpack. It's tough to fight. It's tough to fight destiny. Savaye holds the backpack by one strap down in front of her. I don't believe in destiny. Even so, you're too important to the future. I fight for you. We fight for you. Together is how we win and how things get better. Savaye slides on the backpack, not fully convinced of her destiny. If not destiny, a sense of duty, huh? Savaye is more comfortable with this terminology. Yeah. Savaye feeds Charlie a warm smile. You are your sister's keeper. Charlie smiles. Fucking right. An aggressive knock hammers on the front door. Charlie spins to the door, then turns back to Savaye. You gotta go. Savaye turns to the door. Cut to exterior city, back streets, day. Silent scene delivered with score to highlight the actions. Savaye looks back and forth for a clear path to run as she darts down the back streets of the de developing dystopian city. In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of our wrongful deeds. EVO officers chase Savaye. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking the cup of bitterness and hatred. Savaye cuts a corner into an old parking lot area. Area. Exterior city, back streets, parking lot day. Savaye halts progression at the site of a teleportation portal opening before her. A well-dressed man wearing glasses and a teleporter blocks Savaye's path. The EVO officers have now caught up and are at a standstill with their weapons drawn. We must forever conduct a struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. The man cries out, signal signaling for the officers to lower their weapons. They do. We must not allow our creative protest to degenerate into physical violence. Savaye's body starts to vibrate uncontrollably. Her eyes and hands begin to glow to her reluctance. She drops the backpack to the ground and gestures for everyone to keep their distance. The man orders the officers to step back. They do. The man removes his glasses in astonishment of what he's witnessing in Savaye. Again and again. The officers bring their weapons back up and take aim on Savaye as her entire body is engulfed in energies pulled in from the atmosphere around her. We must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force. As all the energy pulled into into Savaye explodes from her. The teleporter teleports himself and the man away. The officers aren't so lucky. The energy released washes over the entire parking lot. With soul force. The officers have been scorched to ash. Savaye faints from the energy she has released. The man and the teleporter reappear, standing above Savaye. The man kneels down to Savaye and turns over her left arm to examine a symbol a triangle within a circle on her wrist. The man nods reassuringly to the teleporter. The teleporter kneels down, placing hands on the man and Savaye. They teleport away. Exterior city, back streets, rooftop, day. On the nearby rooftop above, a woman with a katana in hand is overlooking the situation. She brushes her hair behind her ear and reveals upon her neck a symbol of triangle within a circle. I will be my sister's keeper. The woman's eyes ignite with subtle flames. End for now. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you all. Please. Please.
I saw you place hands, Joe. <laughs> he said. That little sound effect. There yeah. we go. That was, I'm going to use that exact one for the teleportation. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, lovely, yeah. lovely group of people right here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you again. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bro, I'm gonna sign off now. Bye. Bye. Do I have to do anything, Cat? Or we just? No, I'm just gonna wait All for right. y'all to leave. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. See y'all later. Yes, I'm glad.